Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. 2023 was a very good year for me in terms of rifles. I was able to add six rifles to the collection. I'm going to go through each of those. You can let me know what you think and which ones that you think I still need to get. So let's get to it. Ruger started out 2023 with a great rifle called the SFAR Small Frame Auto Rifle. This one's chambered in 308. They make another model in 6.5 Creedmoor. It weighs only 6 pounds. It's the size of your standard AR-15 and 5.56, but it is built to handle heavier loads. It has a 16-inch barrel. Another one has a 20-inch barrel. It has a beautiful handguard, an adjustable gas system, and what they call a boomer brake. At the range, it shot incredibly well very smooth and accurate for a short frame rifle that is very light very happy with what Ruger did with the SFAR they have an incredible reputation with rifles and this one certainly did not disappoint a different AK was added to my collection this year it's a Wasser 10 but it's outfitted with Midwest Industries parts it's called their Alpha series they have the Alpha stock that is super adjustable it can fold they have the Alpha handguard that is really cool for adding attachments and they have a railed top cover which keeps the optic nice and sturdy which was one of the greatest complaints with a case all these are drop-in parts it makes the rifle more tactical it makes it more user friendly it looks super cool and it does exactly what it's supposed to do and that is make the AK more accessible and much more customizable much like the AR-15s. If there's any rifle manufacturer out there that pays attention to detail it's Henry Repeating Arms and they did that with the Homesteader. It's their first auto rifle chambered in 9mm and it's super adaptable. It offers different mag wells for different mags. I went with the Glock mag well so I can accept any Glock mags on there outfitted with beautiful American walnut it has a size charger ghost ring sights it is heavy but there's like zero recoil with this rifle it's a beautiful rifle functions perfectly well the top of the receiver is drilled and tapped for an optic but I see, see no reason to do that it just performs so well an enjoyable experience at the range with a beautiful rifle made by Henry Repeating Arms. Springfield Armory came out with a new rifle called the 2020 Redline. It's chambered in 308 or 6.5 Creedmoor. It is very light at 6 pounds. This one has a 16 inch barrel. A composite stock called Greybow Trekker. It utilizes a free float barrel with a carbon fiber sleeve to it. it has a three round magazine. For those who who are hunters who may have to carry their gear and their rifle to their stand or wherever they, they plan to hunt. This is very lightweight. It is extremely accurate. I, I was able to put shot into shot at 125 yards and you know it just it just speaks of the quality that they, they put into this and the craftsmanship and I think they, they hit a niche out there that a lot of hunters are looking for. Springfield came out with another rifle, chambered in 22 long rifle. It's their first 22 long rifle in over a hundred years, called the 2020 Rimfire. It utilizes a synthetic stock. Walnut is also available. The trigger is patterned after the Remington 700. It's a bolt action 22 long rifle with a 90 degree throw, a 20 inch heavy barrel that is threaded, and it ships with a 10 round rotary magazine they also priced it in the the budget category something that small game hunters may enjoy plinkers would enjoy anybody who likes 22 long rifle and a bolt action rifle they found it with the 2020 rimfire x-star is commonly known for their lightweight all polymer 9 millimeter and 45 acp sub guns but near the end of 2023 they came out with the x-star ep9 carbine with a 16 inch barrel and a very nice stock it remains polymer throughout and making it a very lightweight rifle x stars making their own 18 round glock pattern magazines but it will accept any other glock magazine chambered in 9 millimeter it has an 8 inch polymer handguard, a side charger, it's very smooth shooting and 
to be consistent with X-Star, they priced it right at $4.99, hitting that budget category for those who want a very solid rifle without breaking the bank. Well, that was certainly enjoyable. It's always nice to go down memory lane, even if it's just for the past year. But those are the rifles I picked up in 2023. Let me know what you think. I always appreciate your comments. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.